And now we'll go to the third interpretation where we'll try to say something about the variance. Okay. So we started off with the following wish list that we wanted low covariance and we wanted high variance. So far we have paid attention to the covariance because everything was revolving around this covariance matrix in both the solutions. Okay. Uh, but what about variance? Have we achieved the goal with respect to high variance? So let's see. So now what's the ith dimension of the transform data? It's this. You take your data and project it onto the ith dimension. Right? So x hat is equal to x into pi. Now what is the variance along this dimension? How do you compute the variance? So this is my projected data and let me just call it x at i. So this is the ith column after projection. Is that fine? Everyone is okay with this? Now for this ith column, I want to compute the variance. How will I do that? Remember that the data is zero mean. What's the formula actually? It's going to be x hat i minus mu i into x hat i minus mu i, right? But mu i is zero. So it just turns out to be the dot product of x i hat with itself, okay? And of course divide by m. Is this fine? I can write this as XPI and then when I take the transpose, I'll get this, okay? Now what is this quantity? This is exactly the moment where I feel like saying Ramayan khatam ho gai. <laughs> what is this quantity? No, look at the circle. What is X transpose X times PI? What is PI with respect to X transpose X? Eigenvector. So what is this product going to be? Lambda I PI. Is that fine? What is PI transpose PI? 1. Okay. So what's actually the variance along the ith dimension? What is lambda I? So what will happen if I retain the highest eigenvalues? I'll get the highest variance dimensions. Is that fine? So all roads lead to eigenvectors, eigenvalues, right? So Andrew Yang in one of his lectures says that there are 10 different interpretations of PCA. I only know three of these. I don't know the remaining seven. Maybe he was bluffing so that people like us can keep busy. Oh, this is getting recorded. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you get this. So we have satisfied everything in our wish list, variance, covariance, and also did this detour where we saw that it actually amounts to minimizing the error in reconstruction where we are throwing away the dimensions along which reconstruction did not add much to our knowledge about the data. Okay? So these are the three different interpretations that I have. Right? So hence we did the right thing by throwing away those dimensions which corresponded to the lowest eigenvalues because lowest eigenvalues is nothing the lowest variance also. Okay? So this is a quick summary. Uh, the coherence between the new dimensions, okay, you can leave actually, you can just read it later on. So